So right now we are inside my decoy trailer and it's obviously cleaned out and that's for one reason. This week we're going to be doing some modifications to my trailer and I'm very excited about it. I've been waiting for like a month to two months to start working on this project and I finally got time this week to do it. So my plan is to make a few videos and just kind of chunk up this whole project to, into different videos because it could get pretty long with all the stuff that I'm going to be doing. But today is going to be decoy related. As you guys know, I uh, use my bulk decoy club decoys. And my bulk decoy club decoys, they uh, have the little tail loops on the butts of them to, to like hook them on a carabiner and carry them all together. Just like this. I've got a dozen full body Canada goose decoys on one carabiner right here. And what I used to do in my storage unit, I used to hang them from the ceiling. And I was like, why can't I do that in my trailer? There's probably a way to do it, and I think I figured out how we're going to do it. So um, I've got a few things that we're going to be using. Game plan for this, I don't know how well this will work. I hope it works out really well. I've got some eye bolts here. We're going to drill through the studs in the ceiling, run these eye bolts through, and then uh, I've got turnbuckles as well. And I've also got a bunch of this PVC coated cable. So game plan is to run these eye bolts through the studs in the ceiling, hook on a turnbuckle to that, and then we're gonna run a cable from here all the way to the other side of the trailer. Um, we're going short ways, so like, um, let's see, I'm gonna be running it from here over to there, not like the back to the front, side to side. So this will run across, and then what I'm gonna do is basically I'm going to be putting this in the front side of the trailer. We're going to open up the side door, be able to reach up, clip the decoys on, slide them across, put some more in there. So that's what that what I'm really wanting to do is basically get them on the ceiling to free up a lot of space underneath them. And I think this is going to work out really well, but there's only one way to know, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first things first here, we got to drill some holes through these studs. You guys can see them in the camera. Um, these are pretty much just like one inch square tubing. So I'll just drill one on this side, the one on that side on one, two, three of them and hopefully that works out. I think I'll have the eye bolts facing the back of the trailer. So we'll run them through like that. I just want to make sure I uh, measure it correctly. Hopefully I don't screw it up too bad. Okay, so here's, here's what we got. We're gonna go one washer on the eye bolt. We'll run it through, we'll do another washer, and then a nut. Okay, one down, five to go. So now that we've got the two eye bolts in the studs in the ceiling, we're gonna need to work with the turnbuckle and the cable and these uh, cable clamps. So what I'm gonna do is just so that I know the length, I'm gonna go ahead and then just put one end of the whole cable through this turnbuckle, we'll clamp it down, put it on there, run it across, and then clamp it over there, cut the end, and then tighten the turnbuckle down, and that should possibly, hopefully work. So there's what we got. We're gonna go ahead and put it on that loop, run it over there, run this cable through that loop, clamp it down, and then give it a little snip to cut its length, and I think that should work out just fine for us. Ideally. We've got the eye bolt with the turnbuckle. We got this green cable running in across back over to this eye bolt. I might end up getting another clamp to clamp that on there twice. And same thing with this one. I left myself a little tag to do that just so then it won't slip out. But now it's time for the real test. We'll go grab some decoys and throw them up on here and see how it looks and if it even works for that matter. Ideally, I'll be able to fit three of them on here. sag in the cable and the cable ties come loose. Right there the PVC coating came off and the cable was just sliding right through that so I might have to reclamp it and maybe put another clamp on there. There we have it three dozen decoys hanging up right there. Okay so what I did I ended up putting two clamps on the turnbuckle side 
I'm not sure if I'm gonna need one over here. I might run to the hardware store and pick some up. What's the deal with them selling them in packs of freaking three? Like, seriously, there's only three um, clamps in one of these, so. Okay, whatever. But we got one done. I'm kind of skeptical about how the second one's gonna work out, but um, just with how close these decoys are gonna be together, but I think it would work out. So we might as well give it a try. Um, I don't really want to go f much farther than this third one. So then I have the whole back of the trailer for whatever else I need to put in here. But getting those off the floor, easy access, uh, lots of room underneath. The main reason I wanted to do this up here was get all the decoys on the roof so then I can slide a kayak in here for storage or something and not have to worry about the decoys and stuff getting in the way. Because that was the main problem the last time I loaded the trailer up. So they're off the floor. It looks good. Time to do two more of those. Okay, so we got it all done here. I only did two of them. I was gonna do three, but then I decided not to because when I started putting all these decoys up here, I noticed that the third one would go a little farther back than I wanted it to, and it kind of blocks the door. So I want to have kind of a little bit of space to come in the door, or grab something out of the bottom if I need to. So we'll just stick with two for now. I can easily add another one. But another reason why I can't add a third one is because I had to add two clamps to it because um, I don't know if the cable was just too tight or something, but the lines kept falling down. I think it happened twice. I clamped them with two on either side, and I think what was happening was, one, the cable was too tight, but also the clamps were kind of peeling this PVC coating off, and then that added enough space and these clamps were to just slide right off. So two clamps on either side, and I've got three dozen on each of them. So I've got six dozen total just hanging right here. And I found out that you can kind of toss a few up on top uh, to fit them all. So ideally, here's what's going to happen. You walk up, you grab your decoys, you pull them down, walk out the door, go set them in the spread. So all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Uh, is there any better ideas out there? Uh, I'm sure there is. But for my needs, this will work. If it doesn't work, then we'll figure something else out. But I think it'll work out really well. I'm going to go for a little test drive here and then see if anything bounces off or breaks or whatever. And hopefully it doesn't. But that's really going to be the true test. See if bouncing on the road is going to snap the cables or make them slip out of the cable clamps. But we'll just have to see. We'll go for a test drive real quick. Time for the moment of truth. Did anything fall after the test drive? They're all still up, so I think this idea is gonna work out pretty well. I'm not entirely sure how long it's gonna work, but it works for now. And uh, I'm excited to have this done, and now we can work on the next trailer project. But I think this will work. It kind of gets the decoys up off the ground, gives me plenty of space to put things underneath them. And it's really just kind of using that unused space that I had earlier, because my trailer was pretty full, and you know, it was maybe up to here tall. So. Being able to use up that unused space, put most of the weight towards the front of the trailer, it's going to be great. So I'm very excited for this, and I hope it works out really well during the season. But even if it doesn't, you know, we, we gave it a valiant effort. We're not really out much of anything. This is, this is only like 10 bucks of stuff. So I'm happy. Like I said earlier, be sure to leave in the comments what you guys think of this down below. I'd love to hear it and see if you guys have any ideas, things that you guys have done for your decoy trailers. This was just an idea that ran through my head. I wanted to give it a go, and I think it's going to work out really well. And uh, these bulk decoy club decoys work perfect for this. I don't know about other decoys. These are just so light, and uh, they've got the clips on them, so it works out really well. If you guys like this video, be sure to give me a big old thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you want to, you can pick up one of these hats by clicking the link in the description. Also, if you guys want to follow me on my social media, I've got Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. So be sure to follow me on there and stay up to date with what's going on. But that is all I've got for you guys today. Pretty simple project, but I think it's going to work out really well. I will catch you guys on the next one.